In this video, we'll have a look at the implementation of filing the form T1198 electronically in the 2024 T1 module. CRA has a reference, is qualifying retroactive lump sum payments. The article states that this year, which is 2024, you can submit electronically a file, a T1 with a completed T1198. Profile has implemented this. Let's go have a look at Profile. I'm in a 2024 T1. If I go up to help, about, I'm in version 2024.3.5. This is the version that we implemented the filing electronically of the T1198. So to file electronically, you need to be on this version or later. If I go to T1 e-file, in previous years, there was an exclusion for a completed T1198. For 2024, this exclusion has been removed. From there, you just need to complete for this portion of the return, the T1198. I've just entered some fictitious information here, which can just be entered based on the supplied T1198. If I look, I have the auditor open just to show there's no warnings related to this. Profile does do some basic checking. I removed an amount here. I get a, a message. So this message is telling me that the amounts at the top don't reflect the entries below. What I did was just remove an amount here and I got that warning that made it not eligible for e-file until that issue is resolved. Once I do have the entries required in the lower section, the top section has the correct information, then it is e-file eligible, meaning there's no issues with the T1198. There, of course, could be other issues not related to the T1198 that are preventing the return from being electronically filed. Just as a final note here, all these entries, they're in black colored font. All these entries are manual entries. Again, I would just make the entries based on the supplied T1198. Make the entries here. Make sure there's no warnings and this portion of the return is complete. I hope you found this video helpful. For more support options, you can go to our main website. It's profile.intuit.ca.